Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, welcome to your October reading. I feel like there's a little bit of a warning coming through because there are some people who are trying to get back into your good books type of thing. I feel like there are some people you've decided to part ways with and clear out. There are some contracts, negotiations that you've turned down. There are some people who want something from you. I also feel like this can be related to love or old friends who they want to try something again. They want to reconnect, but you, it's like your intuition is telling you like, uh, I don't know if this person has actually changed. And I want to say that this person or this boss or whatever, I, I don't know how this connection is showing up, but it feels like you already decided to let go and they are trying to figure out how to reconnect and they're making all these promises, but I don't know if they can actually keep them. I wanna say they can't because energetically, it's like their ego has maybe understood something, but it's not fully embodied. So they can't or haven't actually applied all of that learning, or they need more time to actually learn how to navigate something and then later can apply it. But it's, it's feeling like, too much, too fast, and too soon, and this is just not ready. So if you're noticing that this has already happened, keep that in mind. If you're feeling like, I don't know what you're talking about, then just wait to see what comes up this month. Um, we also are moving through eclipse season very soon. So, and this is, this is a big deal for you because you are a cardinal energy. So with the north node in aries and the south node in libra i have a full workshop that i really dive into it's it's like an hour long anyways that um will be really helpful for you because what i'm talking about is this north node and this south node aries and libra are part of a cardinal cross so we have aries libra cancer and Capricorn. So if you have a sun, moon, or rising sign in Capricorn, you are strongly affected by the um, next cycle of eclipses because Aries and Libra are part of your cross. Just if you're confused, it's important and it's affecting you. <laughs> Aries, Libra, Cancer, and Capricorn are the four signs that will be strongly affected by these eclipses. So make sure that you are using this energy. Um, I have an ace of coins here, but it's with a devil reversed. So like this ace of coins, this is a new opportunity. This is a new approach for you to be investing your time, your energy, your money, your love and commitments, your affection, and like all of the things that you want for your life. It's like, they will come, but you need to be investing into the right thing so that you can get everything that you want, right? Like you can't be, you know, eating bullshit all day and expecting to lose weight. It just, it doesn't make sense. So that is the same equation for everything in life. It's like, if you want to create something, if you want to manifest something, then you need to be investing into the right things. And I feel like this past retrograde season was really showing you where your investments have maybe been misplaced or just the people who have promised you something, they are quote unquote willing to show up. But when, you know, the time is right, it's just like they never actually show up and you're kind of left alone or you're picking up the slack and doing everything for everyone or you're constantly needing to get involved and fix something because they can't do it. And they've told you, oh, I have this skill set, but they don't really have it or they're ready to commit, but then they, they can't show up properly or whatever. So there's this overall energy of like other people honestly like falling behind. I'm like, let's be real, you're a Capricorn, so many people are falling behind you. <laughs> but I just, I feel like you're experiencing this deep transformation and your identity is shifting. And that again is connected to these eclipse seasons because again, you are involved in that cardinal cross activation. So if you haven't watched the nodes workshop, it's really important. I'm going to tag it. Um, under this reels you'll see at the bottom it says like nodes or products or something you can click it and you can watch it anytime I would strongly suggest doing that 
This is really important for you because you have this nine of coins here. So it's like other people are seeing your value. Like other people are seeing your worth. And it's really important that you see your worth because an issue, and I feel like this has been happening for a lot of Capricorns for the past while, is just that like you don't really, like imposter syndrome is what I'm hearing. Imposter syndrome. That is what I am hearing. So it's like, you know you can do something, but when the time comes and you have to actually go on it, you're like either doubting yourself or you're just feeling like, oh, I'm not ready. It's like you're never going to be quote unquote ready. You just need to dive in and just start doing it because like you will learn as you go, but like you already have this natural skill set to do whatever you're trying to do and whatever you want to manifest. Like that is being communicated by the universe to you because the universe wants you to do it, but you and your ego, your fears, your mind, they're getting in the way of the process. It's like you can't move forward because your mind continues to block you or to play tricks on you. Maybe it's other people, their perspective of you. Maybe it's your parents. Maybe it's just society. Maybe it's a projection of another person. Like you want to move to a new country. You want to establish your own business and other people, they really want to do something similar, but like they're too scared, so then they project onto you, oh, that will never work, or I can't believe you would do that, or are you sure you're gonna give up everything to change your life? It's like, yes, bitch, that's exactly what I wanna do. And the more I hang out with you and you cast all your doubts onto me, the more confused I get. So it's just like, you need to really trust yourself, and this eclipse season is going to be showing you how you are required to now stand in your power we also just had a full moon in Aries, which affects all of us. And Aries, again, is a cardinal energy. So that um, cardinal cross is very activated for you. So you will be feeling more sort of in line, um, empowered, feeling more confident, but that can be sort of fleeting. So it's like, you need to really believe that. You need to start an everyday practice or behaviors that continue to make you feel more confident in yourself and allow you to take control because you have these beautiful opportunities coming with that ace of coins. But I feel like there's something about yourself where you're not really allowing yourself to stand in your power and to make the final decision for yourself. You're allowing other people to maybe take over and decide for you or their energies are confusing you or whatever. So again, other people are seeing your value. Other people are seeing your worth and they can see it almost like more than you can see it. It's like some of you need to be practicing some mirror work or um, affirmations every day. Um, I also feel like there's an opportunity for you to just dive deeper and to like really clear out some of this old bullshit. This was the last full moon before eclipse season. This full moon was in Aries, which activates that cardinal cross that we talked about. And this next eclipse season and for the next 18 months is like very activating for you. So if you didn't watch the full moon workshop, then like you need to because you need to use this energy. Like this is a big opportunity for you to close out and let go of like all of the old things that are still attached to you in this current chapter. After eclipse season, the chapter closes and a new chapter opens. So if you haven't cleared out or at least set the intention to let go, drop, sacrifice all of these old things, then like you're going to carry them into the next chapter, which means you're going to have to be dealing with all of these things for the next six months again. So it's like you want to be using this energy. You can watch that workshop anytime. The link is in my bio. It's a free workshop. It's the full moon workshop. It's donation based. You can like pay whatever you want. Like I don't care. Just watch it because like you really need to see yourself in a new light. You need to see yourself from like the perspective of other people who really value you. And you have these new collaborations, these new ideas. I'm also feeling like reconnecting with people from the past. Um, this three of cups is coming through, but like you need to be very clear about what your intention is with these people if you are letting them back into your life or if you are reconnecting, um, yeah, again, with like old projects, like why? What do you want to do with that 
you know, outcome. Like what is the goal for that connection? Don't just be like spending your time, spending your money, spending your energy just to like dilly dally and like kind of, oh, you know, I'll just do it because it's there. Like, no, like you need to get really intentional about what you want to be doing because there are some people here and again, you really need to trust yourself. There are some people here, like I have this page of swords and this seven of swords, which like I don't like. I also have this king of swords reverse and it's like with a five of cups reverse and a six of swords reverse. So like there are some people who feel you disconnecting and they want to remain connected. They want to take control of this situation and they don't want to let you leave. But like these people don't have your best um, interest in their mind. Like these people are either greedy or there's someone from a distance I'm also hearing who's like watching you and don't be like freaked out. I just mean like probably on your social media or whatever, but it's just like people are trying to figure out how they can reconnect with you or how they can approach you to offer you something that will benefit them. And I think they know that you have already leveled up and sort of moved on and they're falling behind and getting desperate and they don't know what to do. So now they're going to be trying to like convince you to either like connect with them or like take them back or whatever. It's just like, you really need to be following your gut right now with this hermit card and this high priestess reverse is like, don't ignore your intuition. If you know something feels off, it's because it's off, okay? So like, trust that. With this queen of wands reverse, don't act and go for it just because you're gonna go for it. It's like, no, like you need to really be thinking about how you wanna be spending your time, energy, and money moving forward, okay? Again, we are breaking old habits. Devil reverse, hierophant reverse. It's like these old toxic cycles, people, projects, things that drain us, we are breaking free and letting them go, but we can't do that if we don't actually set the intention for it, okay? So if you want support, if you wanna receive an energy clearing, you can watch my full moon workshop. It's like under 30 minutes, it's a home video, you can watch it anytime. The link is on my bio, okay? Go watch it after this. If you're still here because you're like, holy shit, this really resonates, then it's like, bitch, go do something with this energy. Don't just close the app and leave. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, use this energy. It's the last full moon before eclipse season. It's the last super moon of 2023, which means it's even closer to the earth and it's more powerful. So, like, use this energy, okay? I love you. If you want to dive deeper and watch that nodes workshop, I'll also tag it below. Please share this on your Instagram story. These are free. I literally show up every month for you guys. Like support me back. Okay. Just share it on your Instagram story. Send it to a friend. Let me know in the comments if this is resonating and I will see you very soon. Okay. I love you. Ciao.